Welcome back. The state of Michigan tonight is seeing a spike in identity theft incidents, specifically through unemployment benefits. And tonight, TV6's Nicole Buckman joins us live with how the increase is pushing the state to take some action. Nicole? That's right. And today, the Unemployment Insurance Agency visited Marquette County to explain how the state is handling this situation and what the public and businesses can do to protect themselves from this identity theft. In January, the state said it received 1,600 to 2,000 calls a week from people reporting unemployment claims filed in their names. These were fraudulent claims through identity theft. We acted quickly to try to make sure that, again, no claim is paid and we just figured out what was going on. The state said this is attributed to the large national data breaches occurring throughout 2017. People have been stealing information like names, addresses, dates of birth, and social security numbers in numerous ways. Suspects are also attacking us through the internet. They're utilizing phishing scams, income tax scams. Uh, suspects are selling and purchasing personal information through the dark web. Officials say theft is also happening in your garbage and mailbox. And the scary part is, is that criminals aren't targeting just one demographic. It goes from the frontline worker um, that maybe have, uh, may have previously had temporary jobs up to company CEOs that are having fraudulent claims filed against them. In response to these false claims, the UIA has revamped their fraud hotline, responding to complaints as quickly as two hours. And as of March, ID theft calls have even dropped about 500 per week. As we start closing the gaps here in Michigan, these criminals are going to other states. They're not staying here. With the new legislation, once you do file a complaint, the state has to mail three letters, each to the employer, victim, and imposter, canceling the claim. Agencies advise you to monitor and protect both financial and personal information. I often tell people or citizens that it's good to treat your personal information like it's cash money. And officials are actually saying that most identity theft tends to be by people you know. They advise you to guard your social security number and to create strong passwords. Also to shred receipts, credit offers, and account statements. They also urge you to review your credit report at least once a year. Now, if you believe identity theft has taken place, we have that hotline online, right. along with a way to uh, report a claim online as well. You can all find that at UpperMichiganSource.com. Perfect. Yeah, lots of resources, you know, with criminals nowadays. They are getting creative, especially online. So the message, Nicole, basically be careful what you put online. Exactly. All right. Thanks a lot so Thank much. You.